Last year, I decided to devote more time into smaller projects, from the Pied Oviset, the Badgers, the Common Cranes, and now life around this small pond. From the very beginning, I was surprised over how many birds live in this small pond. A few juvenile golden eyes who seemed to love swimming around among all the lily pads. A couple of whooper swans with two beautiful cygnets. And one foggy morning, this stunning kingfisher. Still, this wasn't what I was after, this wasn't what drew my attention. Ah, there you are. Whoops. Nope. Ah, there we go. The beautiful little grebe. I first noticed the little grebe when I was out hiking and I heard a distant call which drew my attention to this pond. After a few minutes I spotted this female in the reeds and short after the male. I decided to spend the next month watching and observing the nesting and the behavior of the grebes. From building the nest relaxing, and of course, a lot of diving. I spent about three days a week at the pond to make sure I didn't disturb them too much. I kept my distance and hid under a small tree in order to record as much video as possible. In hopes of one day witness the cutest thing there is, a baby grebe riding a mommy's back.
In the end of the month, I went up north to photograph the red throated loon. And once I was back home, I rushed to the pond to see if I could spot some hatchlings. But what I discovered was tragic. Somehow, the Greaves had lost their eggs. And this lovely story about the family of Greaves came to an end. I visited the pond for another two weeks just to make sure that I was right. But still, there was no chicks to be found. The couple had stopped interacting and was off doing their own thing. Reminder of how precious life is, yet so fragile. Unpredictable and unfortunately, unfair.